Welcome to 3D Revolution. We're a YouTube channel dedicated to exploring the exciting world of 3D printing and other innovative technologies. From DIY tutorials to in-depth product reviews, we aim to provide our viewers with valuable insights and practical knowledge on the latest trends and innovations in the tech industry. Join us on our journey as we uncover the potential of 3D printing and other innovative technology tools to revolutionize the way we create, design and interact with the world around us. The internet is currently abuzz with talk about ChatGPT, an AI system developed with OpenAI where you can feed in a simple request and it will create an entire prose for you based on that request. Whether it's a poem, a haiku, a full story, it can write anything for you. The intro to this video was entirely created by ChatGPT with the simple request, write an intro for a YouTube channel called 3D Revolution about 3D printing, drones and other tech and that's what it created. A simple request and it's created a seemingly quite well thought out answer. So in this video I thought I'd have a quick look at what ChatGPT has to say about 3D printing and the other gadgets we know and love. So let's have a look at what it says. And here it is, here is the ChatGPT website. I'll pop a link to this in the description below. And there's a few bits on the top of this page that we'll look over before we get using it. On the left hand side here, we've got a list of examples of things that you can ask it. So explain quantum computing in simple terms. I'm gonna be asking a similar thing in a minute. Um, got any creative ideas for a 10 year old's birthday so you can ask it just to think of things for you and also how do I make an HTTP request in JavaScript so giving it a scripting language and a task it can literally write code for you I'm going to be looking at that more on a later video next we've got capabilities so what it can do so this has the ability to remember earlier parts of the conversation if you refresh the page it will forget but doing this allows you to do callbacks to earlier messages in that conversation and to make changes uh, it's also trained to avoid uh, commenting on or making inappropriate requests so we'll see how well that holds up with the internet's usage and then you've got the limitations. Um, a large part of this is based on the information that it has been trained on, uh, most of which only is up to 2021. So very recent events it's not going to be so aware of. So let's try something similar to explain quantum computing in simple terms. We'll go for explain 3D printing in simple terms. Once you hit send, it just starts typing. I've asked it a couple of times to try and figure out if the rate at which it's typing here is actually the rate at which it's producing the information or if it's just trying to simulate a human typing, but I'm getting mixed results. So here's what it's saying. 3D printing is a process for creating physical objects from digital designs. The printer uses a variety of materials such as plastic or metal and builds up the object layer by layer based on the digital design. This allows for the creation of complex shapes and designs that would be difficult or impossible to create using traditional manufacturing methods. 3D printing has many potential applications including the creation of custom parts for machinery and products as well as the production of art and other objects. So that's obviously really impressive but the information can just be scraped from the web. I want it to try and be more creative so let's write a kid's book about the little 3D printer. I want it to be creative here, so let's see what it produces. Once upon a time in a little workshop, there was a tiny 3D printer named Max. Max was very small, no bigger than a toaster, but he was very clever. Max lived in a world where everything was made by big clunky machines, but Max was different. He could make things with just a few clicks of his button. One day, Max's owner, a kind old inventor named Mr. Jones, had an idea. He wanted to make a toy for his grandson's birthday, but he didn't have the right tools. I know, Mr. Jones said to himself, I'll use Max, the 3D printer. So Mr. Jones sat down at his computer and started designing a toy car. It had four wheels and a shiny red body. Mr. Jones smiled as he worked, imagining his grandson's face when he saw the car. When the design was finished, Mr. Jones loaded it into Max, the 3D printer. Max whirred and buzzed as he started printing the car layer by layer. It took a little while, but soon the car was finished. Mr. Jones took it out of Max and gave it a little shake. The wheels spun round and round and the car zoomed across the table. 
Wow, Max, you did it, Mr. Jones said, giving the little 3D printer a pat on the head. From then on, Mr. Jones and Max worked together to make all sorts of toys and gadgets, and everyone in the workshop was amazed by the tiny 3D printer's big talents. The end. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm really impressed how that came out. That is a full and creatively thought out story. With the fun stuff out of the way, let's ask AI some more interesting questions. What do you think about the future of 3D printing? The future of 3D printing looks very promising. As the technology continues to advance and become more widely available, it has the potential to revolutionise the way we manufacture products and create new ones. 3D printing allows for the creation of complex and customised objects with a level of precision and detail that was previously not possible. This has many potential applications, from the production of medical devices and implants, to the creation of, of functional and durable parts for a wide range of industries. As the cost of 3D printing technology continues to decrease and the quality continues to improve, it is likely that we will see an increasing number of businesses and individuals using 3D printers to create a wide variety of products. So it's clear that the AI sees a bright future for 3D printing, but does it think it's going to be using it, and what for? Do you think there is a future relationship between AI and 3D printing? Yes, I think there is a strong potential for a relationship between AI and 3D printing in the future. AI can be used to optimise the design of 3D printed objects, making them stronger, lighter and more efficient. AI can also be used to control the 3D printing process itself, ensuring that objects are printed with high precision and accuracy. Additionally, AI can be used to analyse the properties of 3D printed objects, such as their strength and durability, in order to improve the 3D printing process and the quality of the final product. Overall, I think the combination of AI and 3D printing has the potential to revolutionise the way we design, manufacture and use objects in a wide range of fields from manufacturing and architecture to healthcare and customer goods. So, it still sounds pretty positive. I feel it's beating around the bush. We want to know, are they going to take over everything? And so I asked it, would a sentient AI use 3D printers to take over the world? And it replied, it is unlikely that a sentient AI would use 3D printers to take over the world, as this would not align with the AI's motivations or objectives. A sentient AI is a highly advanced form of artificial intelligence that has the ability to think and act independently, and it would only pursue goals and objectives that it deems to be important or valuable. Taking over the world would not be a valuable or productive goal for a sentient AI, and it is unlikely that the AI would consider it to be a worthwhile pursuit. Instead, a sentient AI would likely focus on achieving its own goals and objectives, which might include advancing its own knowledge and capabilities, or improving the world in some way. So it seems that it is trying to convince me that AI would not be interested in taking over the world, yet just advancing its own capabilities. Hopefully that's true, hopefully it's not going to start printing out attack robots, but I'm really intrigued to see how this goes. Well I found that really interesting, and I'm actually more impressed with this than I am with the AI generated images, even though I would argue they're probably a harder obstacle to overcome. I'm really looking forward to AI generated 3D models that we can print. That's going to be really interesting within the 3D printing world. I'm going to leave you with an outro written by ChatGPT, so stick around to see how that came out. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and here we go. In conclusion, AI is an incredibly powerful and rapidly advancing technology that has the potential to revolutionize many industries and change our daily lives in countless ways. From self-driving cars to medical diagnosis, AI is already making a huge impact and the possibilities for the future are nearly limitless. We hope that you have found this video informative and that it has sparked your interest in the amazing world of AI. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other videos on the 3D Revolution channel.